Well, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought, what a nice little project to do it on. So we're obviously we're getting towards finishing touches. This was all slated and it was leaking like a sieve, all man size slating. So we've uh, lead clad it all. We've had all the legs off. Uh, they're now pinned inside rather than lead wrapped around the outside of the legs. And uh, yeah, we've done all the painting, all the woodwork, everything was rotten. So we've had to clean all that up. We've had to make new wood parts for it. Um, yeah, so I know there's a few of you who watch my videos, which is really nice. But I would still like you to like and subscribe if you will, if you like this kind of thing. And obviously you do, because I get a few views, which is really nice. And it gives me a bit more of a... I don't know, impulse to actually do these videos because I'm not professional, obviously. Um, but yeah, so this is all the clips of lead li copper lined inside. Look, just so it holds it on. There's my little motif um, that I cast myself. So yeah, so all this was all rotten, really rotten. All. Um, so what we're on with today, though, is this dome. So I'm going to do a video of how I form these domes so we start off with the lead looking a bit like this um, a big triangle um, and they're going to be welted joints these so what we do is get plenty on there because that's not going to be a finished height um, but this is what it'll look like once we've dressed it down and trimmed it so a nice curve and then we've got copper underneath that will get folded up underneath that to hold it all in place. Again, copper clips everywhere. So yeah, let's get on with this panel. I'll just do a quick panel for you, see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go fine on video, you never know. But yeah, this is what you start to look. This is what it looks like initially. Yeah, not dome-like at all. But yeah, so I'm going to pass you up onto Pete. Hopefully you don't get my bald head in, which he likes to do. <laughs> and uh, I'll put some gloves on and have a go at doing this dome for you. So I'd like to put a little bit of heat into the lead. Well, then we come down with it. And uh, it'll start forming itself, but you'll find that these will start folding in. But when you get to a certain point, you want to open them back out again. Um, but we'll show you on the video. Right, so, bit of heat. Bit of heat. Just to get this leg a bit more malleable. Malleable, go, 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 go. Just start easing it down. So what will happen is these ears will, these will pull in, which is nothing to panic about. And these are pulling in together, you see. So it's curving around it. Then you start bringing it down. When we get so far down, then we want to start opening these back out again. And we'll start dressing this across and that across. See what a nice curve we've got into it. A bit of heat on this lead is not going to hurt it one bit. Let's see how much you can hit actually here. And now, what I'll do is I'll start dressing them out before they get folded too far in. Uh, and lead beater. So I'll just start dressing these out. And what that'll do is that'll help it come round. That'll help the spot go in. Watch out, does it pull out the top? So we're just nicely easing it around. Dress it down as we go. Don't 
too many marks in it, so you don't want to be dressing the hell out of it. Otherwise, you end up with marks everywhere. It doesn't need it. If you do it right like this, you do it nice and, nice and slowly. You can see that's a lovely, nice curve on there. So I'm going to put a bit more heat being this bottom bit. I can say, start walking these out and that will help it follow the curve. What you want to do is start from the middle when you start dressing this out and dress it one way than the other. Um, hopefully I'll better do this on my own. I've had Pete help me just hold it in situ. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe invest in a tripod or something. So now I want a little bit of a it. So I'll try to get this middle down as best I can. And then just dressing that down. Now what I'm following on these is each panel has got a break in where it's supported underneath so as long as I dress this to that panel I know that when I move this round to where it's going in situ I'll be somewhere near. the dress marks in it so that's nice and smooth got plenty around the bottom to get a nice skirt and a nice grip edge so what I'm going to try and do now is form my stand up for my welted joint So when you do your initial fold up, while it's a triangle, you don't dress it in sharp because that'll never be your final, your final um, place where you. Soft fold initially until you at this stage, then you can start really getting it just in. Bit of wood behind there. That's one side done. Start bringing that around till we get to this joint here, and that's going to be our that's, that's going to be our long one. So we can take this a bit further round. That's going to be the short one. 
particularly want a piece of upstand on this one get in there just a bit more heat on this bottom yeah so i hope you're all well i know it's been a while but you know it is i think we've done we've done a video on welted joints i think Maybe, maybe not. I'll have a check. It's been that long since I've had a look on my channel, unfortunately. Sometimes I, I check just to make sure no one's asked any questions. So then what I'll do now is just to get that right, nice and all nice. Just get that really a nice clean bowl there. Against the door. That's pretty much it. Just gonna take that out a bit. I'll heat that up, take that out because I want that my short one, my inch and a half, into uh is it not? Oh, oh, this is the short side. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Take that one down. That one can stay there then. So it's just put me right, fucking put me right before I dressed it in, but hey ho. <laughs> One, isn't it? <laughs> right, so yeah, that's how you do dressing onto a dorm. <laughs>